With mobile phone cameras getting better and better these days, there's no excuse for poor capture shots. But sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do, even if you have got a decent phone. To take it to the next level, you're gonna need something like this. This is the NGT Selfie Tripod Set. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about it, how to use it, and how to get the best results from using your phone. So I think it's safe to say that we've all been there where you've caught a good fish, there's nobody about at the lake to help out, you've only got your phone with you, you try stacking it on a bucket, it keeps sliding off, and then you finally do get it stacked on the bucket and you've got 10 seconds to run around, pick up the fish, hope it doesn't flap. It just, it's a tedious process that never ends up in a good picture. So that is obviously where this sort of kit comes in. And it makes it nice and simple, nice and easy to get a decent photo even if you've only got your phone with you or if that is your choice of camera. So what do you get in the box? If I get all this out, you get a little remote shutter. Now I'll show you how to use all of this later in the video. You've got your little cable and that is to recharge your little fill-in flashlight. So this is completely rechargeable. You've got multiple different settings on off, obviously, and then you've got three different light settings. So depending on how right you want your image or if it is at night obviously you're going to want it on the brightest setting so that's really handy and this can plug directly into your little auxiliary point but it doesn't have to so it's not powered by that it's purely somewhere to hold it it's powered by the battery that's inside it so if your phone doesn't have one of these points then it doesn't matter you can still use it because there is a little rechargeable battery in it you also get your phone holder and this can be used both portrait or landscape and this is universal as well so, so there's a little screw thread just at the bottom where you can adjust everything to make it fit whatever phone that you've got and then you've got the tripod itself which comes in a nice carry bag so I'm sure you can probably fit everything into this carry bag if you want to to keep it all in one place so if I just open this up I'll show you the tripod and this is completely adjustable so at the top of it you've got a little pan and tilt head so you can get everything in position nicely there's even a little spirit level as well so you can make sure everything is on the right level it then opens up and you've got loads of uh, adjustability where the legs can come right out and then obviously you can adjust it to everything in between so there's quite a range of adjustability depending on i guess if you're using cradles or unhooking mats that are flat or however you want that level to be you can adjust it to to suit and to fit and then alongside that you can even adjust this central bar up as well so yeah there's loads of adjustability so i think now the best thing is to show you exactly how to use it now i'm not going to demonstrate this with a live fish because trying to get self takes of a, a live fish can be hard enough anyway obviously it's a hell of a lot easier with this but i've got a cushion fish so i can talk you through everything i haven't got the fish out on the bank for too long especially in days like this when it is absolutely scorching hot. So I'm gonna move everything around, get this set up, get my phone on it, and then I'll talk you through how to use it and how to get the best possible images from your phone. Okay, so as you can see, I've got everything set up here. I've got the tripod in front of me and that is positioned perfectly to the mat. So the mat is central on the tripod. I'm central to the actual uh, phone screen. So I know that that way I'm gonna get the best possible shot and the most uh, aesthetic, I guess. Now you have to excuse that tripod, that camera, it's filming the phone that wouldn't normally be there because that's not that's not helping for a better picture is it but needs must but a couple of things that i have done you'll notice i've actually got the phone screen facing me so i'm using the front camera on the phone and the reason for that is obviously it's a selfie tripod kit so you want to see the whole screen you want to see where you are in the frame and you want to make sure that everything is exactly where you want it to be the other thing i've done is i've actually set a self timer on my phone so it's a 10 second timer which then corresponds to this little shutter release so by pressing this you then start the timer you've got 10 seconds to pick the fish up pose for the photo and then <coughs> that way it makes it a lot easier to get the best possible photo there you go it's simple as that and then if you want to take another one obviously it's just a case of putting the fish down pressing the remote again countdown comes up on screen and then you can readjust yourself whether you want to get the other side of the fish something like that make sure everything's right in the frame and then wait for the countdown to happen and that's it it's literally as simple as that a few easy steps get everything set up in advance before you even think about bringing the fish onto the bank and that's it 
job done really. Now I don't think there's really much else to say about this. It does exactly what it's designed to do. It holds your phone and it makes self-takes a hell of a lot easier. The last thing really to mention is gonna be the price. And I had a quick Google just now. And the cheapest I found is £15.94. That is a ridiculously good price for something that makes life so much easier. When you think how much you spend on rods, reels, bait, everything to actually catch the fish, there's really no excuse to have an, a bad capture shot anymore, especially when 15 quid makes a night and day difference. For any more information, head over to the NGT website where you find all the actual tech specs of it, the exact sizes that it can kind of extend to and pack down to. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.